Doctors are attacking Jeremy Hunt for his cheap political jibes after he finally admitted there is a winter crisis in the NHS in tweet attacking Tony Blair. Yesterday Prime Minister Theresa May denied the NHS was in crisis saying it was better prepared for this winter than ever before. The health secretary was responding to comments made by the former PM who told the BBC's Today programme health service staff were leaving as a result of Brexit and the government was not able to focus on the problems in the NHS because its focus was on preparing for exit from the bloc. Brexit has a massive distractive impact on dealing with the actual challenges of the country and you can see this so clearly with the National Health Service, Mr Blair said. In response Jeremy Hunt tweeted, Tony Blair's memory is as selective in office as out of office, does he not remember his own regular NHS winter crises? Perhaps he was too focused on joining the Euro to give his full attention to the NHS. But the tweet provoked a passionate response from doctors who took the health secretary's clumsy political jibe as an admission that the NHS is in crisis. One doctor who works in the A&D shared a graph pointing out the differences in winter crises under the Labour and Tory governments. It shows the number of patients being seen within the four-hour target time with troughs each winter but a sharp decline overall under the Tories. Dr. Jamie Fryer shared the stark graph with the caption, There are winter crises and there are winter crises. An ed consultant shared another version of the graph which clearly shows the percentage of patients not seen in under four hours rising since the Tories took control. Mr. Hunt's tweet was also seen by some as deeply ironic for suggesting Tony Blair's government was too preoccupied with Europe to focus on the NHS considering the Tories' deep splits and decision to hold a referendum on the issue. While doctor and author of Your Life in My Hands, a junior doctor's story, Rachel Clark tweeted, Conditions are hellish for patients right now and think this is the time for cheap party political jibes? Get out there! Show your face! Stop spending whole days in TV studios! Cut the fake sorrow! And take some responsibility for your five-year decimation of our beloved NHS! Bungling Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt was forced to apologize yesterday to patients after an estimated 55,000 ops such as hip replacements were axed until February. Of the delays, Mr. Hunt said, I apologize to everyone who that has happened to. The order to halt tens of and shy, thousands of hospital operations will create the biggest backlog in NHS history, it was warned. An emergency panel announced the updated order, which gave permission to defer follow-ups and use mixed wards. Record numbers of stressed nurses are going sick because of huge pressure engulfing the NHS. At least 16 NHS trusts with A&D units have been put on the highest level of alert. Dr. Nick Scrivine, president of Society for Acute Medicine, said, there'll be a massive knock-on effect. It's going to take an awful lot of catching up by a service that doesn't have the capacity to. They'll have had nothing to this extent before. The Prime Minister Theresa May has refuted claims the NHS is in crisis. She acknowledged delayed operations were frustrating but said the NHS was better prepared for this winter than ever before. Today she will visit a hospital to meet staff working to cope with the winter pressures.